very good morning and welcome to this worship service of an abridged virtual worship service from St. Martin's Church, Delhi Cantonment. Today is the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, third in Trinity, and the theme for our meditation this morning is Judge Not and You Will Not Be Judged. Also, we are celebrating the Doctor's Day and also the 1950th anniversary of the martyrdom of St. Thomas. Sing unto the Lord a new song, for he cometh to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world. May we praise God by singing the opening hymn. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth, Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the most high, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray the collect that will appear on your screens. Please pray along with me. Almighty God, to whom the secrets of all hearts are known, give us light to see ourselves as you see us and grace to be merciful to others as you are merciful to us. For the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and ever. Amen. As we prepare to listen to the Holy Gospel, may we sing our gradual hymn.
sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. trouble anywhere we should never be discouraged take it to the Lord in prayer can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share Jesus knows Jesus teaches his disciples not to judge others. The Holy Gospel is found recorded in the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 37 to 42. Jesus said, Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. He also told the parable, Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone who is fully taught will be like his teacher. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take out the speck that is in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will be see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye. Amen. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. 
Friends, I'm happy to announce the names of those who will be celebrating their birthdays during the coming week and also one celebrating today. Festus Morgan celebrates his birthday today. Matthew Titus on 4th. Aaron Jacob on 5th July. Georgina Kellogg and Rohit Ebenezer celebrate their birthdays on the 6th. Robinson Baroy and Nina Masi celebrate their birthday along uh, birthday on 7th July. Neha S. Kumar, Alka Anupama Tirki, and Reverend Sunil Gazan celebrate their birthdays on the 8th of July. John Alexander, Parmeet Singh, and Shireen Victor on 9th of July. May we offer a prayer for them and also various other issues that relate to the world and to our church. Let us pray. Gracious, loving, heavenly Father, we come into your holy presence, thanking you and praising you for your many full blessings that you continue to bestow upon each one of us, our homes, our families, our dear and dear ones, and upon this world. Heavenly Father, we at this time bring before you people who are sick, who are suffering, who are in any way afflicted, and are in difficult situations and have no reasons to thank you. Heavenly Father, we pray for the people who are victims of natural or man-made calamity, Especially, we pray for the flood-hit areas in Assam. Also pray for disturbed parts of the world as world leaders meet. Heavenly Father, we pray for the war between Russia and the neighboring countries, the danger imposed on the world peace. We pray that your spirit would intervene and bring this to an end so that, Heavenly Father, there might be peace and prosperity in this world that you have gifted to us. Be with each one of those who celebrate their birthdays during the coming week, that your abundant blessings may continually shower upon each one of them. Bless them with health, wealth, and happiness, that they in turn may become a blessing for others. In Jesus' mighty, sweet, and holy name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in Christ, today is the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, and the theme for our meditation this morning is Judge not, and you will not be judged. Well, what was the purpose of God sending His only begotten Son into this world? <clears throat> His main purpose was to express His deep love for humanity, that this humanity may be reconciled with that they may live in peace and harmony. That this inherent tendency to judge one another, to be biased, to be prejudiced, to become vengeful, may be uprooted from their whole, what should I say, system. That they may have a change in their perception. That they may have a new life in Jesus Christ, that his kingdom on earth might be established, so that the citizens of this kingdom might be people who live in peace and harmony, not passing judgment on one another, not being biased, on the other hand, being positive, people who are non-judgmental, because they are expected to know that each one has a God element in him or herself and that each one is made in the image and likeness of God. Entrustingly, his son Jesus Christ spent majority of his valuable time teaching the twelve, not twelve hundred. And out of this training, came out a team of disciples who are ordinary laborers and they were converted through this teaching, through the change in their perception into great world leaders so that you and I today are celebrating the 1950th anniversary of the martyrdom of one of the saints, 
uh, St. Thomas. Also the doctors practicing the same thing what Jesus did, the healing that he gave to people. Today it's not only the healing of the physical body, but people are in need of spiritual, mental, emotional healing as well. Many are broken, many are depressed, many have given up hope. They need you and me. Well, one of the things that might obstruct this process of growth, of prosperity, of this kingdom of God, is our habit to judge one another. Jesus puts it very plainly. He says, why do you say to your brother, please let me take a speck out of your own eye when you have a log in your own eye? Well, it's seldom that we stop and look at our own selves. It is said that if you point one finger at someone, there are three that point at you. So, let us remember that this tendency of judging one another also comes from Jesus as a warning. Judge not and you will not be judged, you will be spared. The measure you use, the measure you apply will also be applied to you. Experience tells us, observation proves it, that yes, those who have been judgmental have been judged in this world. And therefore Jesus teaches us in the Lord's Prayer. Father, forgive us our sins, for we also have forgiven those who have sinned against us, so that there is mutual exchange of this forgiveness that would produce peace and harmony in any given society. So what does Jesus want us to do? Well, he wants us to train our minds to change our perception so the whole scene might change. The scene or individual A is the worst I have seen. That's one perception. Well, I find a lot of beauty in him. I see a lot of potential in the individual. Well, this change of perception can change and convert the whole scene. It will be helpful for my own health. It will be good, you know, producing positive energy. And that's in our hand. Disciplining ourselves is important. What does the psalmist say in Psalm 1? Sit not in the counsel of the wicked one. The proverb writer says, How we love slandering. It's so tasty, it's so nice, sitting, watching, commenting at others, and not spending time in introspecting our own selves. Let this be a start for all of us, that we might rightly interpret the law. The Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Not making this as the basis to judge others. Remember the woman caught in adultery. This woman was found committing adultery. Man is missing, but according to the law, she must be stoned to death. And Jesus says, he who has not sinned, let him pick up the first stone. And everyone disappeared. Do not condemn others so that you might also not be condemned. May the good Lord infuse in us this spirit that we might be aware of this fact that our uprooting of this tendency to pass judgment will spare us also from judgment. God bless us. Amen. Aaj 
पेंथिकॉस्ट के बाद का चौथा रविवार है और हमारी आराधना का विषय है न्याय मत करो जो नाप तुम लोगों पर लगाओगे वो नाप तुम पर भी लगाया जाएगा और इसलिए ऐसा करो कि हम इस चीज़ से बचे रहें आज डॉक्टरों के लिए भी हम एक विशेष दिन मना रहे हैं तूमा के उन्नीस सौ शहीदी दिवस भी मना रहे हैं प्रभु यीशु ने क्या किया प्रभु यीशु ने अपने 12 चेले लिए 1200 लोगों को नहीं लिया और उनको ट्रेनिंग दी और उस ट्रेनिंग के दौरान उसने चाहा कि उनका नजरिया बदल जाए कि वो ऐसे लीडर्स बने जो कि शायद एक साधारण मछुआरे थे और इस ट्रेनिंग के द्वारा जिसमें प्रभु यीशु ने अधिक से अधिक समय बिताया आज मेरे और आपके लिए भी अवश्य है कि हम अधिक से अधिक समय प्रभु यीशु की हजूरी में बिताएं ताकि हमारी मानसिकता हमारी विचारधारा तब्दील हो जो प्रभु यीशु का कहना है कि दोष मत लगाओ कि तुम पर भी दोष नहीं लगाए जाए जिस नाप से तुम नापते हो उसी से नापे जाओगे जिस मात्रा में देते हो वही मात्रा का तुम्हें भी मिलेगा और इसलिए प्रभु यीशु ने कहा तुम क्यों अपने भाई से कहते हो कि आ मैं तेरी आंख से तिनका निकाल दूं जबकि तेरी अपनी आंख में एक लट्ठा है प्रभु यीशु इस संसार में इसलिए आए कि हम एक दूसरे को क्षमा करना सीखें अपनी जो प्रभु की प्रार्थना में सिखाया कि हम प्रार्थना करें हमारे पाप हमें क्षमा कर क्योंकि हमने भी जो हमारे प्रति पाप करते हैं उन्हें क्षमा कर दिया है ताकि ये क्षमा का आदान प्रदान से इस संसार के अंदर जहाँ इस परमेश्वर का राज्य स्थापित होना है वहाँ पर शांति प्रगति उन्नति हो और फजूल बातों में एक दूसरे को वो दोष लगाने में समय व्यर्थ ना जाए याद है एक स्त्री को पकड़ के ले आए और कहने लगे प्रभु यीशु से कि ये व्यभिचार करती पाई गई आदमी को भगा दिया लेकिन कानून के हिसाब से तो इसको पथराव करके खत्म कर देना चाहिए और प्रभु यीशु ने कहा तुम में से जिसने पाप नहीं किया है वो पहला पत्थर उठाए और इसलिए लिखा है कि वो सारे गायब हो गए किसी को ऐसा नहीं लगा कि उसने कभी पाप नहीं किया तो हमारे अंदर ये जो एक संभावना है एक जो अंदर का एक क्या कहूँ मैं एक हमारी एक टेंडेंसी है कि लगातार लोगों को देखना अपने को नहीं देखना कहा जाता है कि जब हम एक उंगली दूसरों पर लगाते हैं तीन हमारे पर पॉइंट करती है और इसलिए आखिरकार ये हम किस प्रकार से अपने आप को कंट्रोल करें कि हमारे अंदर से ये भावना दूसरों के ऊपर दोष लगाने की हट जाए पहली चीज अपने माइंड को अपने आप को अनुशासित करें ब्रेक लगाएं जब कभी हमें इस प्रकार की मौका मिलता है जो भजन सीता लिखने वाला है वो कहता है कि बुरों की संगति में मत बैठो ऐसी संगति जहां बैठ करके लोगों के ऊपर कमेंट्स होते हैं अवॉइड करिए और ऐसा करने से हम देखेंगे इस संसार में शांति होगी कि हमें और मौका मिलेगा कि बजाय दूसरों की हम अपनी गलतियों को कमजोरियों को देखेंगे प्रभु यीशु ने कहा जब लोगों ने कानूनों का गलत इस्तेमाल करना शुरू किया उन्हें साधारण शब्दों में समझा दिया सबक इंसान के लिए बना इंसान सबक के लिए नहीं बना तो हमारा विषय अब तब्दील हो जाए कि हम लोगों पर दोष नहीं लगाएं बल्कि अपने अंदर के दोषों को ढूंढना शुरू करें और ये इसकी शुरुआत आज ही से हो आम Let us be a part of faith together in the words of the Nice and Deep. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one being with the Father. Through Him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified and upon His body. He suffered, died, and was buried. 
on the journey he took again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we pray. Let us receive God's blessings. And now, unto God's gracious mercy and protection, we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest and remain with each one of you in each and every home that has washed and participated in this worship service, now and forevermore. Amen. Friends, before we sing the last hymn, may I express my heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Alvin Theodore, Mr. John Manohar, and Mr. Nitin for recording and editing this worship service. We record and they capsulate and present it to you. May God bless them. Friends, I would like to remind you that our annual general body meeting will be on the 31st of uh, July and uh, it will be followed by lunch. All of you who are watching this and are members of the St. Martin's Church family may please join and also ensure that their contributions are paid up to date. Also I want to uh, inform you that on experimental basis we have started a worship service in Hindi at 8 a.m. in the morning. All of you if you know of people who are Hindi speaking, who are Hindi bhasha, may zada comfortable mehsoos karte hain, unke liye sehuliyat peyada kari gai hai, ki ab 8 baje pratiyek rabibar ko Sir Martin's Church mein Hindi ibadat hogi. Aap sab ka swagat hai. As we sing the offertory hymn, the facility to contribute will appear on the screen. And I say this because many keep asking me, how they could contribute towards our ministry. Well, the facility will appear on your screen, UPI. You might use it if you like. Maybe sing our offertory hymn.
to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.